Today we're going to be making Gerald from Mo Williams Elephant and Piggy. When you get your new piece of paper, write your name and your class code along the top. We are first going to practice on the back of our paper. You're going to start with a circle near the top for the head of Gerald. Then we are going to do an oval that connects to that circle for Gerald's body. Let's move towards the head to add our two ears. You're going to add a curve and then have it come sideways and up. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's gonna curve down like a candy cane and then connect to the side of the head, almost like a hairdo. Then for the arms, I wanna make sure they are thick enough because an elephant is strong. So I want it at least three fingers thick. It is similar to a rectangle shape. That will be for the arms as well as the legs towards the bottom. Once I have that completed, I'm going to add a little triangle for my tail and then move back up towards the head. We are first going to add the circles, two circles, for Gerald's glasses and a little dot inside. Make sure those circles are larger than a quarter. For our trunk, we're gonna draw a line coming out and make sure it is at least two fingers thick. And then don't forget to add your smile. I almost forgot the little nails, little bumps on each foot and hand for those fingernails. Now I'm going to turn my paper over and repeat this on the front. Once I have that done, I'm going to get a paint marker. Remember, do not shake, do not squeeze, and do not slam. And I'm going to go over top of all of my pencil lines, careful around those ears, and especially be careful when we get to the glasses. Anything that overlaps, do the one that's supposed to be on top. Super careful with these glasses because you could smudge and make it way too dark. My trunk, my smile, and all the way around the rest of Gerald. As you finish, put the top back on and put your paint marker away. black has dried, we are ready to paint. You and your shoulder partner will get white paint with a little spot of black. You're going to take your paintbrush and carefully mix it together. Then you're going to wipe the extra on the side and begin painting inside of Gerald. Now keep painting until there is no more paint on your brush and try your best not to get it on top of the black. If you accidentally do, that's okay. When you get more paint, just get a tiny baby touch. You have your painted Gerald. We are going to be using colored paint markers to add dots to our background, almost like confetti. You're going to remove the top to your paint marker and place it back in the container. Then just lightly press your color all around Gerald, but not on top of him. Remember, do not shake, do not squeeze, and do not slam. As you finish, put the top back on and put your color back in the container. Then you may grab another color and continue. Put your dots in open spaces. Once you have completed with your color dots, you are going to go back and get a black paint marker. You are going to go back over top of your black lines. This will help crisp it up and it will cover up any of those spots you accidentally got your paint color on top of the black. 
it'll be like it never even happened. Repeat this over all of your black lines. There we have our completed Gerald from Elephant and Piggy.